okay all right hello everyone and in this video i'm gonna do a quick retouch of this photo um i'm gonna start from capture one where i just make a few changes then take it into photoshop to continue the edit so in capture one basically all i'm gonna be doing here is first of all i'm gonna raise the brightness from below a little bit so i take this to i take this up here just to brighten this lower part of the body then i also fix this color um, change in the leg if you look at it right here this is before and this is after right here on the legs so that's the only thing i do here in photo in capture one then I open the file up in, in Photoshop. So in Photoshop, the first thing I do is I just quickly clean this sensor dust, this one, right here. So that's all I've done in Photoshop, using the heal, the healing brush, you know. So I'm going to continue from here. There's not so much to do in this image, I guess. I guess um, one thing that really troubles me is this back, the seamless paper on the background. So I probably need to straighten this out. I guess that's like the main thing I really need to do. And then just do a quick cleanup of the skin. But you know, since it's not like a close up, I guess there's not so much, you know, to do. So where do I start from? So I start with my healing. <laughs> Probably want to zoom in about maybe 70%, maybe 100. I go in a little closer, maybe something like this. Maybe punch out the bits, yeah. And basically all I want to do is just, you know, because it's not a, it's not a close up shot, so I don't need to, you know, do so much in this, in the cleanup stage, because it's not a close-up. So I'm just going to, you know, heal the skin, heal the skin, before, after, before, after, try to blend it in. Mm, something like this something like this I'm just using the healing brush I pick a sample ooh what have I done I pick a sample and Just brush it. See? Something like this. And I'm doing this on a blank layer. On a blank new layer. Here. I'm doing this on a blank layer here. And the you know I use current and below so that allows me to be able to sample on a blank layer something like this before after before after i've done something wrong over here i'm just gonna erase it <laughs> erase and do it again something like this yeah i mean it's not like it's getting printed, you know, in a big print. So at the end of the day, like I said, I'm also going to clean this up. Yeah, something like this. It doesn't need to be too crazy for this particular. Maybe remove these lines, because why not? Remove these lines. Oh, 
all right. Before, after. Something like this. Something like this, something like this. Right? Something like this. Yeah, maybe come here and just something like this. I've done something wrong there, so all I have to do is undo. Undo, undo, okay. Then I come somewhere here. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is fine for now. Before, after, before, after. Yeah, I think this is okay for now. What I'm also going to do is I'm also going to brighten up the eyes with my whiten eyes action. So if you haven't gotten this action pack, it's available for download for free. You just need to, you know, check the description for the download link and you could get the action pack for free. So now I'm using the whiten eyes action from the action pack. And I'm just going to use that to clean up the eyes a bit. It's doing this thing. Top again, yes. Okay, so let's see. I probably want to increase the flow for this one because I don't want to waste too much time. Maybe zoom in some more. In fact, B. Okay, and I grab a brush, white, and I basically just brush into the eyes. I mean, it's very easy to overdo this eye whitening stuff. And even like, I'm also guilty of overdoing it a lot of times. <laughs> this is probably too much. I guess we'll bring down the opacity. I guess I'll bring down the opacity, try to make it look more realistic, but oh well. Slash. Turn on mask to see what I've done. Yeah, looks okay. Does it? This looks weird. All right, something like this. Come to yeah, something like this. You know, clean this up. Basically, just removing the red and just cleaning up the eyes. Something like this. It's probably too much, but we'll bring it down. We'll bring down the opacity of the of the layer. Something like this. Something like this. Yes. I also bring the iris pop. The iris pop. Yes. For the iris pop, it's just gonna pop the iris. So for this, I think a hundred percent will be good. So I just come to the iris and pop it. And pop, you see? Before, after, before, after, before, after. I miss the spot. Something like this, let me see what I'm doing. Yeah. And also come here and pop it. Iris pop, see? Iris pop, see? Something like this. Before, after, before, after. You see the difference? Just put that pop in the eyes. Maybe I also heal this skin. So I'm back to my healing. I'm back to my healing layer and I'm just gonna clear this up. I'm just gonna clear this up. Clear. Clear, clear, clear. Just remove this. I'm just removing the hair on the face. 
something like this something like this something like this maybe something like this this is the problem when you zoom in too much when you zoom in too much then you get stuck in trying to fix you know things that don't necessarily need to be fixed but yeah that's something like this right <laughs> all right great let's zoom back out command zero takes me back so let's see so far so good before and after before and after you see the eyes in fact i think the eyes are good i don't think it's overcooked i mean it's not a close-up so for this i think the eyes are good that's the eyes before after before after all right so what else what else i'm gonna still clean this floor i'm just a bit reluctant to all right let's clean this floor what I would use is I would use the surface blur. So I think the best way to do that is to come here and duplicate the copy. Then go to filter. Then go to surface blur. Then I'm just going to use surface blur to clean this up and let me come here all right so uh, what we're doing is Let me zoom this out. Hmm, that's too much. I'm just looking at this area. My laptop is about to explode. <laughs> Let me quit this capture one. Maybe that would help. Okay okay maybe also quit this browser maybe that'll help as well still rolling mm. okay what i'm interested in is this floor yes i think this is good enough just looking at the floor, is it really? I'm just gonna leave it like this. For now, I see. Okay. All right. So I go grab a mask and invert the mask. Grab a brush, a white brush, and basically just paint it in. See? I'm just basically painting it into this. I'm just painting, painting. I'll show you before and after in a second just to see what difference it makes. OK. 
Okay. I'm gonna paint. So I'm using the white brush to paint. Mm. I think the floor is still. So I'm just. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the surface blur again. Just to get rid of more of this blur. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here. Press select. Come here. And press surface blur. And I probably need to take this up till the surface is more smooth. See? Before. Yeah, I think this is better. Before, after. All right. I probably need to get some of this. Because I grabbed some of the shoes, so I'm just yeah, like this. Hmm. Okay. I'm also gonna black out this. The edges of the shoes. Yeah, something like this. Yeah. Before and after, see? Just looking at the ground is much better. It's not perfect, but it's much better, right? You see the ground? Before, after, before, after. Mm. There is also something on the ground here. So this, I'm just going to use the heel. And I'm going to grab this and I'm going to come here and just try to fix something like this. I think something like this is good. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but let's see what's going on. I'm going to use this um, action I just created. I call it the infrared mode. Because it helps you, you know, when you're doing like this kind of cleanups, things you wouldn't see naturally or things you would easily miss, you know, some spots that you would easily miss, you know, you wouldn't see it naturally. This infrared mode action helps. So I just created this infrared mode action. I'll probably be uploading it sometime soon, you know. You guys could download it for free as well. So, yeah. I'm going to use this as a visual aid to see what I'm doing. So now I could see that there's a spot here, something weird here. I come here and fix it, you know. It just helps me see things. Yeah, something like this. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. All right. So I could come here and delete this one. So what's the next thing to do? Maybe do a dodge and burn. Maybe. Oh yeah, I think what I want to do is 
Do I want to change the color of these pants? Do I want to do that? Let me brighten this image up a bit. Yeah, something like this looks good. Something like this looks good. See? I just took up the brightness a bit. Yeah, something like this looks good. And I think I'll do a I'll do a frequency separation just to smoothen out these legs. 6.5 All I want is a point where the details are no longer so visible. In fact, let me come to here since this is what I need to. Before. I think 3.5 would be good. Yeah, I think 3.5 is good. Okay, so first I turn off my frequency, my high frequency, then I come to my low frequency copy and I grab my mixer brush and I just try to smooth in this leg because, ooh, sample all, no, not sample all. I turn off sample all because I just want to work on this layer, okay. So basically, I'm just going to brush in this leg and even out those colors, make it more smooth, while still trying my best to keep it looking natural, you know? Something like this, something like this, something like this, you know? This is a before after. You see before after. If I zoom in, you see before and after. Before and after. So I'm just gonna keep. I've missed, you know, I've gotten the mixing a little outside of the skin, but I think it's fine. You get the point. I mean, the point of this video is just to show, like, the workflow, you know. I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm trying to spend like, hours on this particular edit. So, yeah. Just a quick, basic edit. Before, after, I think this is fine. Then I turn on, I go back and I turn on my texture. You see, so the textures are back. The textures are back. Something like this. Maybe I go on the texture and I use my heel brush, my healing brush, and I'm just gonna show. Do I need to say currently only, not current and below? All right, so I just come here and I try to remove these lines. I try to remove some of this, something like this. Something like this, something like this, yeah. Maybe I come here as well. And I come here and on the high frequency is where I'm working right now. And um, 
you know, like I said, because it's not a close up, you know, you don't need to do too much, to be honest. Because it's not a close up, you can get away with a lot of. this I don't even need to really mix the skin for this I'm just using the heel brush the healing brush the healing brush is all I need for this maybe come um, hmm. It's always tempting to grab the mixer brush and just, you know. But I think for this image, I'm not going to do that. All right. Let's see. I'm going to zoom out again because, yeah. Something like this before, after, before, after. Yeah, something like this is good. And I grab my dodge and burn. Let's see what we're working with. Yeah. I grab my dodge and burn. This is also from my action pack. And it has this black and white helper layer. It helps you just take out the colors. So we basically send the luminosity. So grab a white brush, brush, probably 1% flow. And now I'm going to exaggerate the highlights, you know. In fact, I'm going to turn this off. So I see here, yeah. I turn off the frequency separation. So I see where the highlights and shadows were originally, you know, because in the middle of when a while doing the frequency separation it's you lose some of that details you know so it's good to always turn it off when you want to do this so that you can easily see where the original highlights were before you you know mixed it in um i think this is on some my hair, some my hair, maybe some in the forehead, some in the forehead, in the nose, maybe chin, something like this. Yeah, maybe dude, something like this. Yeah, it seems fine. Not so much. This is fine. Yeah. So I turn this back on and I turn this off. See? Before, after, you see? Here. Yeah. Before, after, here. Yeah. See? Before, after. Let's see what needs to be dodged. So, dodge. Maybe here, there's something going on here. So I'm dodging here. Dodging here. Maybe, see? Hmm. It's fine. Turn this off. i close it. Something like this. So, I mean, it doesn't have to be too crazy. Something like this is fine. Something like this is fine. What I'm just going to do is I'm just going to play with these colors a bit. So I go to my saturation, hue saturation, and I go to my blues because I want to tweak this denim colors a bit. So I just kind of shift it. Yeah, I shift it this way. Something like this. Maybe minus 10. You see? Before, after. You see that? Before, after. Maybe even bump up the saturation. Or maybe bump down. Take the saturation as well. 
see I, I like this color more yeah I think I like this more something like this something like this yeah then I grab my selective color and I take this I'm just warming up the image you know the reds put in the reds before after let me exaggerate it just so you can see it before after before after you see the reds in the skin before after before after okay and what else what else sometimes i use this channel mix i i, I guess it's the gradient part and i'm just doing my color toning right now you see I just take this down you see this is very powerful the channel mixer is a very powerful tool just one little tweak and everything changes all I've done right now is you see right now all I do is just move this slightly and you see that big difference before after before after which is good I love this this is good enough so yeah when I think about it, I think that's all I need to do on this image. I probably need to resize it, take it from 4000, change it to 1080. What else? Mm, yeah, that's about that. So I just come, sharpen. I sharpen everything overall. Let's see if I sharpen everything overall. No, that's too much. So I just come to my, this sharpen is also part of the action pack. So like I said, if you haven't gotten the action pack, you should go download it while it's free. <laughs> Cause you never know when I get slap price on it. So yeah, I'm just sharpening the eyes, just sharpening the eyes, trying to bring in some more, sharpen the eyes, what else, maybe sharpen the hair, maybe something like that, yeah, something like this is good, and I think that's the end of that. So we've gone from this to this, we've gone from this to this, we've gone from this to this, save, that's all. So yes, um, thank you for watching and if you haven't, you know, subscribed to the channel, kindly subscribe, hit the like button, share the video, you know, some might find it helpful and hopefully see you guys soon on another video so yeah thank you for watching and if you've got any questions or any comments obviously like i said this was just like a quick basic retouching video it wasn't too detailed you know and i wasn't going for you know that perfect retouching i just wanted something quick so yeah what would you have done differently what would you have done <clears throat> differently let me know in the comments. Alright. So thank you and goodbye.